Hey dummy, go watch the first part before the second, you fucking cretin. Here are the rules. Last time we beat the fifth gym and got surf. This is the team as of right now, so let's begin. I started off catching a few Pokemon from places that we now have access to with Surf. I got a Tentacool, Magikarp and a Veilmer. I fucked up tons of people on Route 119 and caught a Tropius named Mango. Then I went to the Weather Institute to ask about what the fuck is going on in Hoven, like it's always sunny, even at night. I beat up some shitheads there, and as a reward they gave me some malformed Balzac. Then I destroyed May's dumb fucking shitty moves at ass Gecko again, and then I arrived in Fort City. There, my two brain cells accidentally forgot to get an encounter, and Steven gave me some spy glasses or some shit. I got this other dumb lizard Pokemon named Kokulk, also I went to some cool cave under some bridge, and found a Voltorb named Ball, and trained up Tuna and Ball, went to fight Vinona, the 6th gym leader, and surprisingly, she was a complete joke. Other than the fact that her Altara used Dragon Dance like 4 times, and I just barely killed it, but yeah, easy. That was the 6th gym. After that, I grinded until the levels were close to my IQ, which is 35, a bunch of my Pokemon evolved, and I started going towards Little Cove City. On the way there, I went to Mount Pyre, where some dickhead Wobbuffet countered my Mango to death. Kinda shitty, but Mango was low-key fodder, so let's not cry about it, okay? Then I beat up some retards on top of the mountain. Haven't we done this before? After that, I went to Team Dirtblock's base, where I fucked up everyone, until I fought their leader, Maxi. Everything went smoothly until this shitty budget gnome got a crit on Turtle. Fucking hell. Turtle was a really fucking good man. I like actually liked him. It, it, fucking weird because it's Torkoal. I never really cared about Torkoal, but Turtle was really cool. I, I really fucking liked him. So yeah, fu fuck you, Maxi. Fuck you. This is the second and last time that I let you pull this kind of shit on me. Also, I got a Geodude named Fries here. Then I went to the other team's base and their leader didn't even bother to turn up, so... All that was left was just the fodder. Then I went to Moss Deep City where I caught a Sharpedo named Cucumber, and up north in the cave I caught a, I caught a seal, a spiel, spiel named Paprika. Then I leveled the ones going to the gym up a whole bunch. Salami and Noodle evolved, and at some point, I don't even remember when, Ham evolved into his final stage, becoming 200% muscle but losing his last two brain cells in the process. Then I went to easily the hardest fight in the game. Like, there's so many things in this fight that can fuck you up that I wouldn't even bother listing them. I start the battle, after a couple turns of back and forth I managed to bring down Satu, they throw out Lunatone, and then I basically have to heal every turn and eventually they kill off Salami. Fucking F in the comments, he was legit like my favorite team member. I revenge kill Claydol, focus down Lunatone, and after that it was 2 vs 1, so I won. That was 7 gym, really fucking scary, but I somehow managed to win. Pause. From here on out I won't be telling you a lot of the smaller details such as new encounters and shit, because now, as I'm writing the script, oh I'm breaking the fourth wall and shit, so since I'm writing the script now, I've already played through the game, so I know that pretty much none of the encounters that I catch are ever going to be used, so what's the point in even mentioning them? Okay, resume. Hi, welcome back, I'm now gonna fight Maxi for the last time, and I'm gonna fuck him up. Ooh, I fucked him up. And yeah, th this guy was also there or some shit. Then I went diving into this cave and beat up some operators. Then I played rock paper scissors with their leader Archie, and I fucking smoked him. Then it started raining or something. I went to Suitopolis. Quick question here: What the fuck is going on here? The only way to get to or get out of here is to dive underwater and go through this fucking cave and then resurface outside. Like. What the fuck kind of town is this? Wait, it's a fucking city! There are some fish and lizard were fucking around. I went to this cave and there are some retard told me about some snake thing that's in the cover art or something. I went to Sky Pillar where the snake thing apparently is. I completely forgot that these bicycle things weren't actually that hard. Then the snake thing went to fuck up the fish and lizard and then it was all over. No fucking clue what that was all about. Then I went to the gym with Paul, Paprika, Ham, Noodle and Soup. The battle was very easy until the Skindra pulled out the fucking double team and stalled the battle for like 40 turns, but eventually the Kindra ran out of moves and I set Ham up with 6 bull cups and he ended up hitting Vital Pro, getting me the last patch. So that was the 8 gym. Then I went to Victor Road and yeah, it was pretty easy. Then I grinded my team for a solid undetermined amount of time and these are the mods going to the league and their levels. Ham, level 45, Noodle, level 44, Obama, level 43, Paprika, level 44, Nom, level 45, and Yogurt, level 45. Now, basically, I'm under level as fuck, and also, if I'm being truthful, really fucking scared. I'm just kinda hoping that Ham will pull through and kinda just sweep everything. I mean, legit, that is my strat. Everyone else is just kinda the best thing I had, but I'm very much expecting Ham to do all the heavy lifting. Also, I bought like a pretty moderate amount of potions and shit, and taught some TMs. 
Slipney is the first member of the 84 and he's a dark type user, so he got annihilated. Phoebe is the second one and she was fucking annoying but nothing too horrible, nothing really notable happened, Obama finally did something, so I, I guess that's cool. Glacia, the third member was fucking scary, since her glaze leaves no explosion and her ball rain has sheer gold, so yeah, I kinda got lucky here with her not pulling any of those. Fourth member Drake was sorta scary but not too bad since I had Paprika who kinda completely countered him. And then the champion. Jesus fucking Christ. This was painful. I started the battle with Ham against Vaylord, feels bad. Ham managed to win, but I think I got a bit lucky since it was pretty close. He threw out Wishcast and since I had two blockups I stayed in with Ham and immediately I realized this might have been a mistake. But I just stalled until he ran out of rain and then Ham just kinda fucked him up. Then he sent out Tentacruel which did a lot of fucking damage with Hydro Pump, so I just stalled until he ran out of them. You can call me a pussy, but this is a Nuzlocke and I'm heavily underleveled and scared, so don't talk shit, okay? Next was Ludicolo, which could turn the tables on me and spam double team, but Ham managed to hit strength twice through four double teams. It's not luck, it's skill. Then Gyarados happened, and last, but definitely not least, fucking Milotic. Starting off, I tried to stay in since I had bulk up, but because Ludicolo had planted his seed in Ham, I couldn't stall and eventually he got the surprise on me and... F. I wouldn't have gotten even past the 5th gym if not for this beautiful Pokemon, so half in the comments. Ham is a true MVP. I sent out Noodle, immediately regretted it. Paprika was pretty good at stalling Milotic, and after a couple turns of Body Slam, Full Restore, and Repeat, I landed the Paralysis and swapped to Yogurt. Remembered Milotic has Ice Beam, went to Obama, healed Noodle, swapped to him, used Confused Ray, and stalled for a couple turns until. Fuck. I did kinda deserve that because I've been pretty lucky, but still, half in the comments for Noodle. I went to Obama and... Really? Another fucking crit in a row? Obama was my first catch, and sure, he was complete fucking dog shit, but his Intimidate helped a lot, and he basically soloed Phoebe, so half in the comments. Then I sent out Paprika and basically stalled until Mildic ran out of moves and started struggling, and then I went to Nom and burned through his 5 fucking full restores. And then it was over. Fucking finally. Kind of anticlimactic, but that was the champion battle. I went to the Hall of Fame and full credits. The ones who survived the final battle were Yogurt, Nom, and Paprika. There were a ton of Pokemon left in my box, I'm too lazy to go over all of them. Here's the death box, F in the comments. And yeah, that was Pokemon Emerald. It was fun playing through this, and I'm already planning on doing another one of these Nuzlocke's with a different game, not sure which yet, but I'll start working on it at some point. Thank you for all the support with the first part, it means a lot. I'll hopefully see you again with another Pokemon Nuzlocke someday, maybe. In the meantime though, I'm gonna be trying to make some different content for a bit, because this took quite a bit to make, and I definitely don't want to do another one yet, but yeah, it'll come someday. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye.